Hey everybody, Eric from Teachers Talking Tech here, and I'm going to make a quick video that can show you how to link an activity from another activity. Now this is super useful when using Bitmoji Classrooms or when you're trying to put all of your activities for the day maybe into one slide. Now for this example, I'm going to make a Bitmoji Classroom and I'm trying to make it for a certain day. Now you could do this outside of activities too. You could like post this to the journal or share it somewhere else, but I'm going to do it through activities. So I've given my kids the directions. I would probably add a video right here that would explain for students uh, how to use the Bitmoji Classroom, okay? And, you know, you could do that with a video or however you want to do it. Now, I'm going to skip right down here for this example to add templates because this is where you're going to put the links for other student responses, okay? Now, I'm going to upload my Bitmoji Classroom. There it is. And to clarify, you don't have to use a Bitmoji Classroom you could really use any kind of images for this. Now I could put some books with links to um, you know, read alouds and things like that, but for this example we are talking about linking to another activity. So why don't I go ahead and I'm gonna upgrade, I'm gonna upload another photo here. And For this example, I, you know, I don't know what to upload, but let's just have a little picture of me and I'm pointing to the board and then maybe it's gonna say math activity. Now you could get way more creative than this. Uh, I'm just using this kind of you know text to link to it but you could use a picture or something more exciting uh, and get creative. Now here's the part that's tough is where do I get this link from to link to this other activity. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this activity as it is. Okay, there it is. So now it's, it's saved and I can go back in and edit it once I get my link. Now let me go back to my library and let's pretend that I want to link to this activity right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign that to my class or you could schedule it for your class as well, but I'm going to go ahead and assign it to them. All right, there it is. Now that it's assigned, I'm going to go in and find it. There it is. It's in the journal view. Okay, and I'm going to click on the three dots and click Get Student Link. So now that I have that student link, I can go back into my activity and I can link to that activity. So here I go. I'm going to go back into my activities. I'm going to open up this Bitmoji Classroom and I'm going to edit it. And now I'm going to go back in and edit the template. There we go. And then right here, I am going to click link and put in the link that I just got. There we go. So now when students would click on this link, it's going to take them right to that other activity. Now that other activity does need to be assigned first. So your students could go in and complete it without clicking on this link. But you know what? That would be okay with me as long as they're doing the activity. All right, so let's see what this looks like for students. So I'm going to save this. And then I'm also assigned this. Now, again, if you didn't want to assign this as an activity, you could put it in the journal and share it with students that way, and they could just go in and click it. But I like to do it this way. All right, so let me assign this for students. Another tip is I would assign this last um, because it's going to be at the top of your feed that way if you assign this with all the links in it, last. Okay? So let's go back to my class, and now I can see there's my Bitmoji Classroom, and then there is that linked um, activity. Okay, now let's see what students are going to see when they do this. So here's my student. Okay, they're going to click, and you can see they see pretty much the same thing I do. All right, now let's see what happens when they click Add Response. So they'd see my directions up here of how to do this, and then Let's see if they click on math activity. And there it is. It's going to take them right into that activity. So this is how you can link one activity to another activity. And you could do multiple. So maybe you could do your math, reading, and writing for that day and then put your Bitmoji Classroom in last. So the students have the option of either tapping on each activity to respond or they could use those links in your Bitmoji Classroom 
or however you wanted to organize it. And just so folks didn't think you have to use a Bitmoji Classroom, another way to organize this would be that you could use the shapes and things right in Seesaw. So for example, instead of using that Bitmoji Classroom, I could use shapes. So maybe I could use this square. There we go. And then I could put math activity like that, put it right in there, right? Then I could add the link to either the shape or to that math activity, um, to the words in that text box. Either way, this will also link students here. So if you don't want to get as fancy as a Bitmoji classroom, you can just use, use shapes or pictures and link to there. All right, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. All right, this is Eric from Teachers Talking Tech. See ya.